I really don't want to like sugarcoat anything because I feel like that could be really damaging. We have to keep it like one million percent real because yeah. shit got real for me. When we went to preschool, um, everything was fine like at first. We remember being able to make friends easily at school because of our outgoing and social personalities. However, when we asked our friends from school if they wanted to have playdates, they told us that they weren't allowed to because their parents didn't like us or we were too crazy. And a couple months in, we developed like a reputation that we were bad kids. Like when I was little, all I did was care about other people. Like I was like a really sensitive kid and I don't know, it was just who I, I still am. I just cared about like a lot of what yeah. other people. I don't even know why our five-year-old selves were hated in this preschool. The parents threw like a Halloween party for the kids. For our classroom. And two kids were not invited and you can guess who those two kids are. Why this happened, I don't know. It's been happening all the time. One of the parents even threw a graduation party for our preschool class and made t-shirts for everyone. Well, almost everyone. We were the only ones who didn't get t-shirts or a party invitation. I don't know how someone had the reason to hate on little eight-year-olds. <laughs> little twerps. <laughs> little twerps. Uh, as much as they really did. In times, I don't know why this was, like, my friends would come up to me and tell me that, like, their parents hated us. And, and they weren't allowed to hang out with us because their parents hated us. We were severely bullied in high school, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want to admit it to myself at the time that I was being bullied because I didn't like to think that I let people's words get to me. It was this popular anonymous, like, Twitter app type thing. You could go on and basically just type whatever you wanted and put it out. No one would know who said it. If I wasn't on the app. Our friends told us, like, like hey, have you seen, um, what people were posting about you on this app? I went on the app on my friend's phone and was a post that said, um, I can't wait for the first day of high school because I'm gonna beat the, I'm gonna beat the shit out of like the Dolan twins. That post on the app had over a hundred likes. That was so many. That meant that pretty much everyone in the town was liking that post and hating against us. And then eventually the entire app <laughs> was entirely about hating on us and everything was like, the Dolans. Dolans are in for a real treat on the first day of school. The Dolans, the Dolans are definitely gonna hate high school. We're gonna make the Dolans' year miserable. We were nervous enough to start the year as freshmen, and it didn't help that there was an anonymous app in town where people were saying that they wanted to ruin our years by beating us up in the hallways and filming it. And just as we expected, high school was miserable. Most days, I couldn't go from class to class without hearing someone taunt me from in the hallways. I remember some seniors would stick stickers on my backpack that had mean comments written on them. This turned us into insecure and introverted people, and we had never been like that ever before. I would spend every day walking in the hallways with my head down so no one would see me. I even had a pencil case with a mirror in it to make sure there was nothing on my face for people to make fun of. I remember freshman year, like when we went to school and like everyone was always like trying to say shit to us in the hallways and stuff. I would always look in my selfie camera to make sure I didn't have like anything on my face or like yeah. something that they could pick out and make fun of me for. It got worse and worse. So people were starting to say things like from far away in hallways. People would film us. People would take pictures of us during school. Twitter was big like. A lot of tweets about us. Like, Dolan's fans are pathetic. Like, how could you like these kids? The Dolan, why do the Dolan's even have followers? They're like, talentless, losers, stuff like that. I definitely hit rock bottom. Self-image, self-confidence wise, rock bottom. A lot of people that said they were my friends were the people that were favoriting these tweets. That became a cool thing to be against us and hate on us at our school. Literally, everyone was starting to do it because it was getting them attention. High school was miserable. I. I I don't remember one day of high school that I really liked. Getting used to walking in the hallways and just hearing like, oh my god, Grayson, can, I, can we get a picture? Like mocking me and like taking pictures and videos of me and like, I kind of just like walked with my head down and, and I didn't listen to what people said. In one ear and out the other because I was so used to it and um, it, it did, it wasn't enjoyable at all. There's a misconception that someone in the public eye is supposed to know how to act and is supposed to take the high road always. I'm 20 years old now. I know that I have more to learn, but I know who I am now. And I'm not gonna let people online try to tell me who I am. To improve my quality of life, I'm gonna listen to my own voice telling me who I am, rather than a bunch of people who I have no clue telling me who I am. I feel like everyone can kind of relate to this in, in a certain capacity where rumors are spread and things are made up about you and, you know, it's not very pleasant, especially when they're not true and they can be malicious and trying to take you down. But as long as you know who you are in your heart of hearts, that's what matters. And I know who I am, Ethan knows who he is. I believe that I'm a good person. I've grown a lot, I've learned a lot, and I'm, I'm happy with who I am right now. And I'm, I'm gonna just make it a thing to, to really focus on learning and growing. Because I think that's what life's all about. I wanna thank God for giving me Ethan because without him I would have 
probably zero friends because we're each other's best friends and at times each other's only friends. It's the little things that initiate the climb at a below place. And you compared it to rock climbing, like climbing a wall. You said you don't just start at the bottom and jump up to the top. You have to take it hold by hold. All the times that I've been at a low point, I've really had to try as hard as I could and sometimes it's, you know, I mean it's, it's easier said than done, but I tried really, really hard to focus on the little things that could bring me enjoyment, you know, or, or make me feel proud of myself, like getting up at, getting up early, having a nice cup of coffee and starting my day off peacefully and then, you know, making my bed. I was probably addicted to feeling like shit, and then I started to become addicted to feeling good again. And all it took was that first hold. Now I feel like I'm in the best shape that I've ever been physically as well as mentally and I kind of wanted to document this moment. It's inevitable, we're gonna have ups and downs, but I want to remind myself that I've climbed this far and I'll be able to do it again if anything ever happens. Let's do crazy shit because we can, not do little things because we have to. It is now time to grow, progress, and experience more of this amazing life that I've been blessed with. I honestly haven't been this excited for the future in a really long time, and I'm feeling extremely grateful for everything that I have right now. And I ended it by saying, let's fucking go! We all know that it's a lie